Hi everyone. I'm teaching a class for PVNet beginning this Friday evening, March 7th, on Lightroom. It's a beginning class in Lightroom, and I thought it might be a good idea to give you some idea what Lightroom is all about in case you're unfamiliar with the program. Lightroom, in many respects, is like the organizer in Photoshop Elements. It is a more robust program and was developed for professional photographers. And its library module is very much like the organizer in Elements. Like Photoshop Elements, Lightroom Catalog mo module is a database manager. That means the public library analogy that I teach as part of understanding how Photoshop Elements Organizer works holds true for Lightroom as well. Also, like Photoshop Elements, Lightroom covers the digital photography process all the way from import to the final image export or what you're going to do with the image, whether you're going to print it, uh, put it into a photo book, or load it onto some sort of a photo sharing site or a website. One of the big differences in Lightroom with regards to photo editing than Photoshop Elements is it uses non-destructive editing. It is very hard to change your original. It can handle both RAW, JPEG, and TIFF files. But the corrections that you make to those files are stored in a sidecar file that is then used to adjust the picture as you see it on the screen or print it or whatever way you choose to use it. When Lightroom was first developed, it was developed for professional photographers. But now it has become very popular with many more people. More serious amateurs find themselves using Lightroom instead of maybe even Photoshop. In fact, professional Photoshop users or professional photographers are finding more and more that they can do their basic editing in Lightroom as well as their image management tasks without ever needing to go to Photoshop uh, CC, as you will, the cloud version of Photoshop now. So it's a very good editor as well as a very robust image organizer. Using Lightroom is not for everyone. If you're just a casual Photoshop Elements user, maybe dabbling with the organizer a bit, you would be better served by becoming up to speed or becoming more proficient in using the organizer. The organizer remains a very useful tool for organizing very large catalogs of images and video files. I've used it for many years now, and my collection now is over 40,000 pictures and videos. So, if you have any interest in learning a little bit more about Lightroom, finding out what it's all about, uh, the class beginning Friday night for PVNet is maybe for you. The only caveat here is that you need to have Lightroom installed on a laptop computer. Lightroom is not available at the computer facility at PVNet. Hopefully someday it will be. Right now it is not. If you don't have an, a laptop, well, I don't know what to say about that uh, in terms of something you can do instead. But if you have a Lightroom, if you have a laptop, there is, I believe, still available on Adobe a free trial version of Lightroom that I believe lasts for 30 days. You could download that, and since the the uh, course itself is only a four-week course, it might be a very useful way and uh, a nice way to learn about uh, Lightroom before you go out and invest in buying the program. So I uh, hope to see some of you in this class Friday night, and at the very minimum, at least you have maybe a little better idea what Lightroom is all about. One thing I didn't mention is Lightroom is written by Adobe, the same people that make Photoshop Elements and Photoshop. And it works very, very nicely integrated with Photoshop and can be used in conjunction with Photoshop Elements. Thank you for listening and hope to see you 
in class.